Thank you for checking out my channel. I am going towards Vilestone City. I'm going to try to avoid these trainers because I know they have Pokemon on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around up to the city. I'm going to go to the next city and probably uh, save my time there or save my data there. Let me go and challenge this person first. Be You're not a trainer? You're just jogging here? Okay, well, I'll just go and pass her. What? Wait, you're not a trainer either? Thank you. What are all these people doing here then if they're not really trainers? I thought they were just sitting here just because they were wanting to fight me. I know they're trainers though. Yes, I'm gonna probably go up to this uh, next city, save my progress, and then uh, move along. All right, twins, Emma and Lil. I believe Mime Jr. is a fairy type, if I'm not mistaken. So let me go ahead and uh, Ancient Power, and then use Metal Claw against Mime Jr. There we go. That stopped any plan he was doing. Alright, shouldn't do that much because I'm a steel and water type. Will the stats go up? Nope, okay. You know what? I'm gonna try to go for. Not let the life do. The um, ancient power one. Uh, another time so I can find out if I get the stat raise. I mean, I just want to see the stat raise, the, the, the stats go up. Well, I guess I won't, okay. Because I love seeing the stats from Ancient Power raise all my the, my Pokemon stats. And I'm assuming Ancient Power was first used by like, um, who is this? But yeah, I'm assuming Ancient Power it was supposed to be used by the prehistoric Pokemon like Oinomite and people like that. I'm going to talk to this little Pikachu thing over here. Are you one of those people that I have to actually talk to to, uh, to battle? Okay. Because there was no way you would have seen me. Is it a Pikachu? Yeah. There was, there was no way that she would have seen me if uh, I hadn't spoken to her. Wait, if a trainer is facing the water and you're surfing, will they still catch you? They're probably gonna do that in the future with, uh, uh, with uh, other Pokemon games. Like trainers can see you while standing on land and they can ride their Pokemon to you. Like, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be wild. Alright, let me use again. Good thing my Togepi isn't a big attacker. There we go. Good, 25. Okay, his... Oh, his speed's not going up though. Togepi's speed isn't going up. All right, let's go up here. Huh. Wait, what's this? Okay. Oh. Oh, this is this is for the um the spirit tomb thing. Okay, I'm gonna put the odd keystone in here. And I think I have to talk to all the people on the underground to make spirit tomb appear here, but we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna do it later in the game. All right, let me go in here. If this is the a graveyard tower, I should be able to catch a ghastly in here. Uh, no, because I actually want to see wild Pokemon. So there should be ghosts in here. All right. 
What does he have? Like one or two? Hopefully he has one or two. Oh, three. Okay, it's not that bad. Skunky. Oh, well, it is a poison type, so Togepi will get wrecked by that. And he's paralyzed too. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. All of my moves, all of my attacking moves are out, so. Yeah, let's switch to him. Okay, now go out Luxio. Oh, it's Fury Swipes, okay. Because I would have been like, oh, that was a genius move to use a, a poison type against my fairy type. Hmm, yes, you spark. Because I know dark won't do anything to it since I think it's a dark and a uh, poison type. Let's just use, yes, just use Bite. Because it's like, he's at low enough health for me to use Bite, so there's no reason for me not to. Right, come over back over here, because Shellos, I think Shellos is a ground, to, it's pre-evolution of Gastrodon is a, uh, the pre-evolution of Gastrodon I think it's a ground type as well. So my, um, and it has storm drain too. Okay. Well, forget my accuracy. Um, wait, I have two Pokemon that knows life do. I may have to shorten that to one because that could be that could potentially be another move. Because I'm planning on this Curlia to be a um, for this Curlia to be a uh, what is it a, a Glade? So it's going to know a lot of um, special attacks now, but when it evolves, probably. It's special. It's, it's attack is gonna raise, go through the roof, actually, because its evolution is basically physical attack based. Sorry, yeah, physical attacks, like actually attack based. I wonder if Glade can, he can learn Sword Dance if I teach it to him. Because I've seen people fight Cynthia, and I realized how how much Sword Dance raises the attack. I wonder what's in this eggs this guy gave me. Oh, come on. This is a cave full of ghosts, and you give me a Zubat? No, no. Yeah, like Zubat's a very common Pokemon. And the thing is, I just turned around and it found me. Okay, let's go up here. Let's go here and let's go around here. Okay. Please be a ghastly. Please, please be a ghastly. Thank you! Jesus. Wait, what's his gender? Okay, it's a, it's a guy. Because I want my team to be equal. So the thing for my team what I, that I want is I want all my Pokemon to be a different type. I want most of my Pokemon to evolve three times. And I want at least the majority of my team to be a dual type. I want one dragon on my team. And oh uh, yeah, of course, no other Pokemon on my team can share the any can share any type. It's it's first or secondary type with another Pokemon. 
So I think he's ghost and poison, so I don't think I have any ghost oh I won't have any ghost and poison types. But if I let Curly evolve into Gardevoir, I will have two fairy types, which would break the rule of my team. But if I have Gallade, then Gallade will be a fighting type. Like if he'll be a fighting psychic type. Alright, uh, try to catch it. This probably won't work though. It will probably won't work though. Okay, yeah, I was about to say it probably won't work though. Yeah, cause if I if I switch, if I switch, I risk him waking up. Oh, oh, oh. It was hypnosis too. Oh my god. That's the thing though, I can't switch out either. Yeah, I can't switch out because he used he used mean look. So I have to I have to catch it. I have to keep yawning, putting him to sleep, and uh, attempting to catch him at full health since Togepi, all of his moves are done. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now I just have to find somebody to trade with. When I get a Haunter, I'll find somebody to trade with so I can get me a Gengar. All right, let's go. All right, let's go up here. I guess that's it. Okay. Cleanse tag. Now I don't think I need that. Um, if it doesn't boost my Pokemon's mo moves, then I don't need it. The technical machines. What move is it? Like Shadow Ball? Oh, Strength? Oh, this is Strength? Okay. Alright, I guess that's good. It's a Another hidden machine under my belt, but I have to beat a, a a gym leader to get it or to use it outside of battle. Yeah, because I'm not walking all the way down to the basement level in order to just leave. Oh, let me go ahead and fight these people. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fight these people. I'm going to test out my ghastly. Yeah, because this would be my Ghastly's first battle, and I have to see what moves it knows. Well, I know it knows Mean Look. Alright, let's see. Ghastly and Crimpla. Alright, guys. So, I think Ghastly knows Levitate, so he won't be affected by ground-type moves. Oh, shit. Okay, that's, he, needs, he needs better moves. Because all he knows is payback as his main attacking move. And I think payback is like if um if the person moves after the Pokemon. Oh my god, this is I'm in trouble. If the person moves after the Pokemon, then the Pokemon will payback will do double its original damage. Okay, Peck again. Actually, you know what? I think I have an idea. Let me try Hypnosis. And then I'll Peck, Metatite. Okay, so he's dead. All right, that's good. So I basically, I think I just saved my Gengar's life. My Ghastly's life. It hit? 
Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't hypnosis have like a really low accuracy rate of like 60, I think? Or 70 or something like that? Oh, well, payback. And, okay, yeah. Well, okay. I'm on my, my gas leaf's pretty good. It's just that he needs more attacking moves. And that last spot is going to go to Gibble because I want a Garchomp. I want all my Pokemon to be fully evolved. Probably except for um, Gengar because I have to trade Gengar. I have to find someone to do that. But um, I probably will. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Please like, share, and subscribe because I think the next city is up here. Yep, okay. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.